I know this is my brother's first game, but he kicked the ball into the wrong goal. How did he get mixed up? Well, it's easy to get mixed up, even as a Christian. Guess what? You're listening to the one and only Keys for Kids. My name is Zach. In my first basketball game of this season, I scored a basket, but for the other team. See, I got confused about which basket was ours. I felt so silly, and a lot of people kind of laughed about it. Now, everyone gets mixed up and does something wrong from time to time. That's just part of being human. If you ever see someone make a mistake like that, you shouldn't laugh at them, though. You should encourage them, just like it says in 1 Thessalonians 5.11. Encourage one another and build each other up as you are already doing. Our story today is called A Soccer Match. Go, Rockets, go! shouted Pete's family. Go, Rockets, go! It was a beautiful Saturday morning and the whole family was there to watch Pete's soccer match. Pete had just turned five and he was super excited for his first game. Go, Bobcats, go! cheered the supporters of the opposing team. The cheers from both sides filled Pete's ears as he got the ball and started to dribble it toward the goal. His heart lurched in excitement as he realized he would finally have a chance to score. But what he didn't realize was that he was moving toward the wrong goal. Pete's older sister, Annie, tried to warn him. No, Pete, wrong goal, shouted Annie. Pete continued to dribble and then kicked the ball into the goal. Goal, he shouted with a big smile but it quickly turned into a frown when he realized his mistake. It's okay, Pete, shouted Dad. I don't understand. Why is he so silly? asked Annie. Annie, this is your brother's first game, Dad replied. He probably got distracted with all the noise. We should be patient with him and encourage him. After all, everyone makes mistakes like that, sometimes even as adults. Really? asked Annie. Yes, answered Mom. Whether it's a soccer game or our walk with Jesus, we lose track of where we're going when we get distracted. Dad nodded. That's why we need the encouragement of other Christians who help us keep our focus on Jesus and show us his patience and love when we make mistakes. He turned toward the soccer field. Let's cheer for Pete and his team. Go, Rockets, go! Go, Pete, go! cheered the family. Just then, another boy from the Rockets team made the same mistake as Pete. He looked crushed and was almost in tears. We should encourage him, said Annie. It's okay. It's all right, she shouted. Other people in the stands joined in. It's okay. It's all right. Then Pete went over and gave him a hug. The boy smiled and continued the game. A few moments later, Pete got the ball. This time, he made sure he was aiming at the right goal. He kicked and the ball went in. I did it, shouted Pete. Pete's whole family jumped up and cheered. Way to go, Pete. So how about you? Have you ever made a mistake during a big game? How about in your Christian life? Sometimes we can let the things of this world distract us from our goal of following Jesus and helping more people know about him. But when other Christians encourage us and remind us of Jesus' patience, forgiveness, and love, we can quickly refocus on what's important. So, how can you encourage someone today? Our key verse is found in 1 Thessalonians 5.11. Encourage one another and build each other up, as you are already doing. And our key thought for today, encourage one another. One of my favorite podcasts is the Unlocked Teen Devotional from Keys for Kids. There's a new episode every day for teenagers to grow closer to God. Just add it to the podcast you already listen to. Search Unlocked for Teens in your podcast app. I'm Zach with Keys for Kids. Keys for Kids.